So you want to hook your MacBook up to a monitor or a TV, but you don't know how to do it. It doesn't have any of the traditional ports that you're used to, and everywhere you're looking online, it's giving you a completely different answer, just simply because MacBooks have changed so much over time. Well, luckily, this video is going to answer any and all questions you have, and should work for any MacBook that you have up until 2018, and if it has USB-C, which we'll talk about later, will continue to work with your MacBook after 2018. But first off, though, we need to look at what you're plugging your MacBook into. We're doing this because we need to see what kind of connection we need to go into your TV or your monitor, right? Whether it's HDMI, DVI, DisplayPort, we need to know which one you have and which one you're going to use. I wouldn't recommend using anything other than DVI, HDMI, or DisplayPort. Doesn't really matter which one of those you use, but you need to use one of those. VGA is an older analog format. You don't need to use that. So DVI, HDMI, or display port. Here's what each of those ports look like, a HDMI, DVI, and display port. That way you know what you're looking at and know which one your TV or monitor has. That way you can buy the correct cable when the time comes. Doesn't matter which one of these you have, just know which one you're going to use on the outset. Speaking of cables though, you can find all of the cables we mentioned separated by MacBook generation and by DVI, HDMI, all that stuff in the description down below. If you go down there and purchase through any of those links, their Amazon links, we do get a small commission at no additional cost to you. So thank you very much for doing that. So now that we know what kind of cable we're plugging into our monitor, let's move over to our MacBook. Now, depending on what kind of generation of MacBook you have, it's going to be a very different process. So how do you find what generation of MacBook you have? Well, it's actually pretty simple. When you're on your desktop, you've got no apps open or anything like that on your Mac, you should have a Apple logo in the top left. Click on that Apple logo and then click on About This Mac. Here you'll see the type of MacBook you have and it should say something about early whatever or mid whatever year, mid 2017, early 2015, late 2018, whatever your MacBook says on it, that is what generation of MacBook you have. So if you have an early 2015, you might be using a different cable than an early 2008. This will actually work on any MacBooks from 2008 up to 2018. Now you're gonna be using different cables depending on what generation you have. We're gonna go over that here in a second. But you need to know what generation of MacBook you have. I've done this on the screen for you. You can see how to do it. It's very, very simple. But whatever generation of MacBook you have, take note of that. And then you'll have it for later when we discuss what cable you need for plugging in to your MacBook. So let's go ahead and do that. For MacBooks from late 2008 to mid 2011, you will need a mini display port cable. A mini display port cable to DVI, HDMI, or display port, whichever one your monitor or TV has that you're going to be using. To double check this, here's what a mini display port looks like on a MacBook. Now, one note here, this looks the exact same as a Thunderbolt port, so this is why it's very important to know what generation of MacBook you have. If you use a Thunderbolt port for the late 2008 to mid 2011 MacBooks, it will not work. You need a mini display port for those to work. So keep that in mind when you're buying your cable here. And that actually moves us on to the next generation of MacBook because MacBooks from late 2011 to mid 2016 use a Thunderbolt 2 port. So Thunderbolt 2 is, looks the same as Mini DisplayPort, but it can do a lot more than just display to another monitor. If you have a MacBook from late 2011 to mid 2016, you will be able to get a Thunderbolt to HDMI, DisplayPort, or DVI port and get it to work on a second monitor. Pretty simple, plug it into your monitor, plug it into your MacBook, and you are done, right? Now, one note here. Now, make sure you are getting a Thunderbolt 1 connector, not a Thunderbolt 2 or 3 connector, because a Thunderbolt 1 connector only works for MacBooks up to mid-2013. If you have a MacBook made in late 2013 or after, you can get a Thunderbolt 2 cable, and it'll work, and you can also get a Thunderbolt 1 cable. I'll have all of this linked in the description down below. That way, you can make sure you're getting a Thunderbolt 1 if you have a 2011, late 2011, actually, to a mid-2013, and if you have a late 2013 to a mid-2016, you'll be getting a Thunderbolt 2 if you use the links in the description down below. You won't have to worry about that. But that is something to note that a Thunderbolt 2 does not work on MacBooks made before late 2013. It has to be made in late 2013 or after for a Thunderbolt 2 port to work. Something changed after this though. Starting in late 2016, Apple did away with Thunderbolt on their MacBooks and moved 100% to just one USB-C port. 
Yes, you heard me right. And this is what a USB-C port looks like. If you have one, you probably know what it is because you probably got one of these dongles. Thus, if you have a late 2016 MacBook or newer, you will need to get yourself a USB-C to DVI, HDMI, or DisplayPort adapter, dongle, cable, right? And uh, most likely you'll want to get one of these USB-C dongles as well that expands it. That way you can actually charge your MacBook while you're connecting it to an external monitor. Apple loves dongles. We all know this at this point with the late MacBooks or the newer MacBooks. And as long as your MacBook has this port on it, you will be using this same method, a USB-C to DVI, HDMI, or DisplayPort connection to connect your MacBook to another monitor. And there you have it. That is how you can connect a MacBook to a second monitor or TV. Just plug one end of the cable, now that you know what correct cable to get, into the MacBook the other end into your TV or monitor, and you're done. To configure the monitor, go ahead and again click on that Apple logo on the top left, click on About This Mac, and then click on Displays. Here you'll be able to change any of your display preferences, go and make everything work, and whether your monitor is mirrored or whether it's an extension of your desktop, you can change all of that here. So yeah, that's how you do that, and that's where you want to go to get that done. If you have any other questions, please post them in the comment section down below. I am more than happy to help you out. And again, if you do go purchase any of these cables that I mentioned, all of them are linked in the description down below on Amazon. We do get a little bit of commission for that at no additional cost to you, so thank you very, very much for doing that in advance. Nevertheless, my name is Nick. Give this video a thumbs up if it helped you out. Subscribe to the channel for more awesome content, and I am out. Peace.